Hi everybody! Ioni here with Eve's Garden Handmade Soaps. Today I'm going to be attempting another scenic soap with my sailboat. <laughs> uh, wish me luck. Keep your fingers crossed and all that because I'm going to be doing some things I haven't done before. I drew myself a little picture here of how I want it to look. Yeah, we'll keep our fingers crossed for that. What I'm doing is, as you can see in the picture here, um, I divided it kind of like this part of the soap and this part of the soap. And I'm only going to be mixing the oils and lye together to do each part separately. So then um, this part I want to uh, set up fairly well after I put the mountains in. And then I'll mix the part for the sky. I will show you the little molds or embeds I made. Um, these are cold process soaps that I made ahead of time. This is going to be the sun that's going to sit in the sky. And my sailboat, which I didn't do a video on because it was so um, time consuming and challenging. I had to make molds for it. I had to then pour and then have it set up, then I had to sculpt each piece out in another part, then I had to assemble it all together. So it was just really too hard to do a video of all that. Uh, I'm going to start now by making uh, the sand, which is going to be white sand this time, and the water, and the uh, little mountains in the back, or the uh, mountainscape at the, at the uh, line of the sea and sky. Horizon line. That's what I was thinking of. Okay, so I'm going to just mix this all together. I'm going to make um, a color for the mountains and colors for the sea. And then I will be back when I put the sand together to pour the first layer. And the sand is going to have these white shreds in it. But first I'm going to put some fragrance oil in. I'm mixing a couple fragrance oils for this. So it's got a nice um, oceany yet um, really nice scent to it. I'm using cool water and I'm mixing it with some Asian sandalwood for this. This needs to be a little thicker, so I'm going to stick blend it just a little bit. Now I'm going to be adding this shred, these shreds to it just to give it some uh, texture because they're about the same color, although there is some whiter ones in there that I hope will show through. So I'm going to pour this into the mold now and I'm going to just use a cloth here to tilt the mold so I can get <clears throat> a, like a little hill effect on one side. Now I'm just going to let this set up as much as it will while we make the water. Now I'm going to be trying to do a gradient of sorts in the water. I'm going to make start out with a kind of a blue and then go to aqua and then kind of to a light, 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 almost clear aqua at the end there toward the horizon. So I'm going to be pouring off a couple uh, blue and just a base color, maybe with a little pearl white mica in it for the uh, horizon effect. And I'll just uh, uh, be back when I get these poured and ready to color. Okay, the first one I'm going to color is the blue. And it's not going to be a real strong dark blue, but it's going to be a pretty blue, I hope. Uh, 
that's almost there right now. I need to uh, add a little fragrance. And then the second, oops, had a dribble. And the second color is going to be the, uh, just a pearl, a pearl mica in there. This fragrance doesn't color. The Asian sandalwood colors uh, yellow, so I'm just using it in the sky, which is gonna be yellows and pinks and oranges and things. Now I saved off a little bit here to make some yellow streaks in the water. I like that effect the first time I did this scenic soap. Okay, and the main base of the uh, water is going to be the aqua blue using the neon blue raspberry again for that i just love that color looks like i might have to wait a few minutes for these to set up so i will uh be back when they're ready to go all right we're ready to go get the mold over here Now, what I'm going to do is pour in the blue first. And I'm, I poured about a third of it. Now I'm going to add a little of the aqua into the blue for the gradient uh, effect. Didn't make that much of a difference, but a little bit. We used almost all of it, but there is a little bit left in here. I'm gonna add a little more aqua. Okay, I'm going to just tilt it a little bit so that it kind of slides over and mixes in just a little bit. There we go. I think that's pretty. Woo. Okay, I'm going to add a little aqua now onto the top of that. Carefully, because I don't really, I, I want it to kind of uh, show the layers. I don't want it completely mixed in here. Now I'm going to pound this down. Let me pound it over here. Now I'm going to add a little bit of this white into the aqua that's left here in the bowl. Get a light aqua. Sort of just mixing up the colors a little bit by shaking it around. Okay, and I'm going to add a little more white in here. I think I'll put a, one of my uh, yellow streaks down here too. Okay.
think I'm also going to set the sailboat in. So I get sinking more than I want it to. Hold on. I might have to wait for this to set up just a hair. So I will be back when it sets up just a little bit. Well, that sank down just a little further than I wanted it to, but that's the way it goes sometimes. I'm going to pour a little more on this side over there. I need something a little more maneuverable here. So I'm going to put this in a smaller container. Okay, I just added the rest to the rest of the white and have been layering it on here. Gonna put another little uh, row of yellow on. Straighten up my sailboat. Now for the mountains, I want to have them um, kind of high on the uh, sides and then go over into the middle with kind of a softer color. So, would like to, uh, this is not really set up that well yet. Maybe I'll better wait a little bit and set, till this sets up more. So I'll be back again. Okay, so I've got a bright idea of building the mountains up in increments instead of waiting for this to set up since it's taken forever and I'm an impatient person. So I'm just going to start building some lines on the sides. Well, this is kind of tedious for you guys to watch, so I will come back when I've got all the mountains done. Okay, I have put the rest of the uh, mountains on and I just dumped the rest of the yellow on there too because I'm going to be starting with yellow for the sky and I thought that'd be a good way to use it up. Anyway, here's what, the, what it looks like so far in there. Don't know if you can see it very good. I've still got the sailboat sticking out. I wanted it to only come up to about half sail, but it's up a little tiny bit higher than that. So, hope my sailboat didn't sink down there too far. So, I'm going to be mixing up the uh, second batch here soon. I've noticed my memory card is full, so I'm going to have to download the uh, video I've shot so far. And then I will be back. That didn't take long, did it? Not for you guys anyway. Is over a half hour on this end. Okay, um, I didn't talk about the oils I used when I started, so um, I'll do that now while I'm mixing this up. I'm using coconut, lard, olive, sweet almond, castor, and cocoa butter in this recipe. I'm not using palm oil because it turns the oils too yellow to make good uh, blues and um, 
purples with. So that's why I used lard this time. And I'm using all olive instead of part canola because olive takes a long time to uh, come to trace. So does lard. And both of those are helping me with some extra time to work with this, which I need a lot of time. <laughs> Okay, I'm mixing my second batch now. This is going to be for the sky. And I'm going to be pouring four colors. Yellow, um, a dark orange, pink, and not pink. That's going to be the base color. And uh, red, purple, and blue purple. So that's what I'm going to do next. So I'm just going to... Um, be back when I get the uh, soap emulsified and poured into the containers. The first color, the main color, is going to be pink. I want a nice bright pink. I'm using electric bubble gum from Brambleberry for that. And I want to do a yellow. I'm using gold mica. And fizzy lemonade from Brambleberry. I'm doing a dark orange. Oh, let's see. I'm going to use bubble gum, fizzy lemonade, okay, and last but not, well actually not last, I'm going to be doing a, um, a uh, red purple. These are going to be toward the top. A red purple and a blue purple. I'm going to top it with blue purple. Adding a little ultramarine blue here to the to the electric bubble gum. Now I'm not going to be adding any of the fragrance oil to these purples because it goes yellow and it will just dull these down to a grayish color, which I don't want. So they are going to go as they are. Okay, I'm going to clean up this area a little bit and then we're going to start molding. Before we mold, I need to put my fragrance oil in here. like it's setting up here pretty quick. Give it a quick stir. Be adding some of this orange into the rest of this yellow. And pouring it. Now I'm going to be, let's see, how far do I need to go before I put my sun in? Just uh, maybe a little bit more is all. So now I'm going to be pouring this uh, straight orange. Okay, now I'm going to be setting my sun in. 
right about here. Okay. Now I'm going to be adding some pink into the rest of this orange. Oh my goodness! The pink is like hardened in the container. Yikes! Now I'm going to pour a lot of this pink in. Pour, that's a <laughs> relative term at this point. <laughs> I'm going to plop it in. I'm going to leave some uh, streaks where I can put in some of that purple too. It's of course probably hard as a rock as well. Oh no, it's poor. See, I didn't add the fragrance oil to this. So it's going to pour nicely into these ridges that I've left. That's going to work good. I like that. You know how sunsets kind of are. Okay. This ought to be pretty. Okay, so I'm going to pour this through the ridges and get it nice and smooth. Okay, now I'm going to put on some more of this pink. Actually, I think I'm going to put this other purple into the pink. That will loosen it up a little bit, make it easier to get on there. Well, the video obviously cut out and I'm not sure when. <laughs> I'm ready to put the last blue purple on top. I don't hope you didn't miss too much. I'm just pouring this on top now. And then I've got um, a little bit of this mountain blue left. So I'm going to pour the rest of it into that, loosen it up and add it as well. I'm going to leave the top dark like the night sky is coming on. But I think I'm going to uh, Give it a little swirl to make it pretty. Maybe put some glitter on it. I have some um, stars glitter. Maybe I'll put some stars glitter on this one. Okay, I'm just going to trail a chopstick through here a little bit. Just to give it some definition. little swirl. look what I've got. I got these from Brambleberry and I don't think they have them anymore. But they are stars. Little stars. And I don't know if you can see them. I don't know if the camera will focus so that you can see them or not. I can't tell if it's doing it. But I'm going to put some of these stars on here. that is going to be, I'm going to call this sunset. I hope it turns out. <laughs> anyway, that is it. Let's see if I can uh, get you a little closer down here so you can see. 
the top looks like. Anyway, it's going to look like that, sort of on the top. But I will be tabletop gelling this soap. There's no milk or titanium dioxide in it, so it should be fine. And then I will probably not show you the cutting because with embeds in there, it's probably going to be a hassle. But I will show you the cut bars when I'm all done. Thank you for joining me today. I always appreciate when you watch my videos and leave the beautiful comments that you do. See you next time. Bye.